I just described. It was the worst of America that a man took a rifle, a high velocity rifle, and turned it on innocent people and ruined lives and ruined many families. At least six people are dead and almost two dozen are injured after a 22 year old opened fire on people watching a 4th of July parade. You're looking at what that area looked like this morning. We first broke the story to you yesterday on First Coast News at noon. Well, we're now hearing about the heroic actions, not just from first responders, but from members of the community that were out celebrating yesterday when they jumped into action to help those injured. Kathy Park is in Highland Park with that story. When gunshots pierced Highland Park's 4th of July parade route, confusion and panic quickly set in. Many attendees forced to spring into action amid a flurry of gunfire. There were a number of heroic actions by members of the community, by police, by first responders that rushed in and immediately tended to the victims, tried to get them help. Witnesses say they even saw young children rush other kids out of harm's way. He said, my name is Blake. And the other little boy said, Blake, run, run. And he grabbed Blake's hand and he joined up with his family and this family took Blake to safety. Among those caught in the barrage of bullets was a Highland Park High School marching band. I couldn't mm. believe that there were so many shots in a row and then it stopped for a short while uh, and then it continued again. The teens seen running from the sound of gunfire. The school says every member made it out safely, including Gavin Solinger's son. A shout out to the band um, who did a brilliant job of kind of uh, kind of keeping the kids all together and safe. Thank God everybody was fine. Still, as a suspected lone gunman attacked while positioned from a rooftop, those on the ground describe the scene as a war zone. In the aftermath, folding chairs, strollers, even toys left abandoned by panic parade goers trying to flee from the violence. More than 30 people were injured and rushed to local hospitals. Six people lost their lives, including 76 year old Nicholas Toledo, a father of eight and grandfather to many. His family telling the New York Times he was fatally shot while sitting along the parade route in his wheelchair. His family saying he originally didn't want to attend the parade. Jackie Sunheim, a lifelong member of the North Shore Congregation Israel, was also killed. Her synagogue writing, Jackie's work, kindness and warmth touched us all. There are no words sufficient to express the depth of our grief for her death. 